So, if you guys can hear me, which you probably can, because of noise, and this doesn't have a mic on it, although it's quieter over here, you're probably wondering what I'm doing. Hi. <laughs> I am at the STOP competition here in Kentucky. Um, I'll post more info about it in the comments with the link to the main webpage, but basically, we, we're, what are we doing? We're doing the drone competition, Cinemania, and... Website design. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know we were doing that. Website design and, uh, game design and game design um, is what we've registered <laughs> for. But there's, would you say thousands or hundreds of what competitions you can do? What about hundreds? There's a lot of competitions. There, there's like 75 plus. There's thousands of people. Yeah, thousands of people, but like 75 plus um, different things you can do, and we were doing four out of those bunch, but. I just figured I'd vlog this because I figured some of you guys might care. Hey, I wonder if that was my step goal. No, my exercise goal. So, that's drone challenge, which we're doing now, or soon, anyway. So here's a little bit of preview of that, I guess. Yeah, that is pretty big. <laughs> Cinemania, we did a movie. I guess I'll be have access to that. So I can. Okay, I got emailed the link apparently. So I'll give you guys a preview of that, I guess, because it's not like it's a big deal. But I don't know. Is Austin doing web design or something? Or is he just not doing anything now? That coding. No, he's not here. Coding changed, so he's not here. So one of our guys used to always do coding, but they decided to change that. It used to be, if I remember right, correct me if I'm wrong, that you would. You would go in there, and they exposure rate on that. You would go in there, and it would say, "All right, you have to code a whatever type thing in less than was it two hours? Was it an hour or two hours? Yeah, I think it was two hours. But they changed it to what is it now? It's a team competition. It's so a team you, comp. You develop something, and then you bring it in and present it. It's not live on demand. Yeah, which I guess makes it easier Wait a minute. when you know that. <laughs> so. Yeah. We didn't know. We didn't know. Hey, I think it would be easier because, I mean, he never, he's done it every time he's come, right? Yeah, the last two years. I'm looking for your there he is. Oh, I'm looking for the other people. Uh, we just saw... They stacked up the drones up from the lunch area. Did they? Where are they? We were eating lunch with Mr. Kirby. Trying to find people. And they left and then Have you seen Mr. Kirby? Yeah. I swear, if I miss him again, We're our other guy. Oh, you'll never find him again, trust me. It's so I never saw him last time. I've seen, like you guys were talking about, I've seen two people well, and it wasn't him. This morning I saw him but yeah. This didn't bother to tell me now, did ya? Oh, I didn't know you wanted it. Now they decide to show up. I don't know what time it's about. So, I told Mr. Drury, So, yeah, it's, um... Hold on. <laughs> I guess that won't work. Yeah, it's it's a fun time. We uh, might go live in a minute, but yeah. So it's basically just a bunch of competitions. I guess I'll do a quick walk around. I'm gonna do a quick walk around. I'll be back in a minute. But yeah, so we've got there's the web coding thing, but there's all kinds of. There's all kinds of different challenges. So many different things to do. It's really an awesome opportunity. I don't know if it's just limited to Kentucky or what, but you'll see people just carrying boxes with stuff in it. Um, second, where are we? Okay, Club B. There's a lot of cool stuff over there, so we're gonna go over there real quick. That's an ugly color shirt. But 
Now it's loud, so hopefully you can still hear me. There's all kinds of stuff over here. I don't know what's going on, but excuse me, sorry. Challenge Hall B is the cool spot, which is right here. That's smart. So that's challenge hall A. That's one of the things we're doing. We're, one of those is we're doing that. Challenge hall B is where we're currently at. So there's all kinds of like, robot stuff over here. There's all kinds of robot stuff over here. Um, that would be a cool one to do. Newscast challenge. IoT slash smart device. Girls who code. I'm gonna get my GoPro. Also, I guess I can go over here. I could go. I could go live. But yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Um, like there were some robots there. People are messing with Spheros. Um, there's Sphero Hero, so let's see if we can figure out what they're doing in here. So I guess they have little things set up that they have to make a course and go around it or something. Because there's like specific rule sets you have to follow and do. Um, like it would say, you have to make a course that has includes this, and God, the exposure time is, includes this, and you, you have to follow these rules. There's game design challenge. I mean, everything is whatever that is. Everything here is loaded. All the rooms have a mostly anyway. But I want to get my stuff. Well, not my stuff, but my my other camera, my GoPro. Um, it's got stabilization in it, so it won't be as shaky as the speed. Wish I could mount it here, but I don't have a tripod. A quarter inch mount, but I guess I should get one. So, let's get that. Okay, GoPro secure. So... Oh, I guess I can't record with it right now, though. GoPro turn off. Because uh, I only have one SD card, like a genius. So, <laughs> that SD card is in this camera, so... Oh well, I guess later I'll get some cool footage with that. But right now I like doing this handheld content. Uh, even though I have a long lens on this and my arm is like fully extended. But it's for you guys, so. Here's a little slideshow there. Some stuff. A nice TV. Whoop, wrong way. There's the, you guys can pause the video and scan that. But, all kinds of people just chilling, eating lunch here. Um, working on stuff, that's probably a Sphero thing. If we go this way. We can go up level two, right? Yeah, level two. Go up to level two, there's some stuff up there that's kind of cool. Um, I know we're on level two right now, what am I talking about? So, of course the down escalator works, right? But the, uh, the up escalator does not. Because it's got to be difficult like that. Because, you know, only the down can work. So, if I come up this way, <laughs> they got a mask. They got one of the mascots here. 
that's cool. That's kind of cool. That was cool. Okay. I kind of wish I did, but I would be dead, so. Here's Exhibit Hall B. So here's the projects that people have been doing. So this is Project Central. I haven't been in here yet. I think last year we might have had a project here. Maybe not. I don't remember. I think we may have. So these are all... A bunch of project boards. I really want to flip one of those. <laughs> It'd be fun. Chunk. <laughs> so this is the Project Central. So these all get judged by people. Like there's a set of judges. So this is like on cyberbullying. All kinds of stuff on that. They're in a... So this is K through 5. This is K through 5 here. But you can see there's all kinds of things here. Some of them got... Meet the cast, so they're using... There you are! Hey, what's going on, Nathan? All right, so I just uh, was talking to one of my teachers, one of my past teachers, and uh, so that's why the video just suddenly cut, because he's hard to find, and he's the typical nerd that he looks like everyone, and we can never find him. It's always someone else we end up finding, so whatever. This one's done well. I like this. So we're, I'm wanting to go more this way, but I'm kind of just walking through, looping around a little bit. There's all kinds of different, diff, so many, oh, that one's fancy. Wow. RGB up the wazoo. Virtual school tour. So that's how you catch people's eyes if you guys ever want to do. <laughs> Someone else like me, but he's got a road mic. I'm I'm mad. I got a better camera though, so it's fine. Um, do you guys ever do something like this? A bunch of lighting and RGB is what you want to do. Because um, it catches people's eyes. SDLP video library. Here's something on hydroelectrics. That 3D print took a while. Deforestation. So this is more of your environment stuff, it seems like. Yeah, so this is environmental type stuff, like pet project, um, deforestation, I saw a bunch of that kind of stuff. We got a demo here. That's some um, basil and lettuce growing. So they're, they have an automated watering system. So that was an automated watering system there. That's kind of cool, they had a live demo. Excuse me. They had a live demo, so that's cool. Those are a great way to get interest also. Pizza. Um, that pizza sucks though, so <laughs> I didn't get any. So, this is 6 through 8, 9 through 12, so we'll go to the 9 through 12. You'll be a little bit more higher end stuff. I mean, they got, like, TVs. Although that's, I think, rented through SDLP, but still, you get the point. So, let's see. Let me see if we can find one interesting here. Check out their YouTube, I guess. Um, we've got some rendering, it looks like, going on over here. Motion. That's expensive. 
I'm gonna have to come back to this. I'm gonna have to come back to that. I'll put my GoPro on for that. It'll be easier to film. That's a beefy camera, holy crap. I could have if I had permission, which I probably could have gotten and brought our $2,000 film camera. Well, film, film not, it doesn't shoot film. It is a film type camera, that's what I meant. But I didn't ask. You. Got VR stuff here. Unveiling Louisville's history, that's cool. So they did a history thing in VR. That's nice. Pathway to success. Button code. So Compatible controllers. About that I like. Process, kind of what value it brings to you as a student here at Fayette County. Why something like this is so important for you to be able to do. Uh, it was nice to actually build something with my hands. Most stuff that we do at school is literally just online on a computer, writing on a paper like everybody else. It's something original that me and my friends built. And it's uh, very cool to have built something myself and be able to present it to my judges. A couple other things. Do you feel like doing things like this and participating in a state competition like this, do you feel that it really does prepare you for a global society and equip you? Well, certainly. Being able to like, present to people what you've done is an important life skill. And, like in the corporate world, being able to make a presentation, practice it, and convey the correct information is very important. And it's always good to have practice like this. And lastly, can you talk a little bit about the importance of being able to work in a collaborative community? You talked about your friends. Can we talk about this in general with technology? Why is it, why is it so important to work with a group of people? Um, well, with other people, you get extra viewpoints, get more diverse ideas. This would never have happened if it was just me. Like, uh, somebody said that we should use like, a microcontroller. Somebody did the Google Slides for us. Uh, we worked for our teacher. We worked with special ed people to uh, work with what they need. Which is a very nice opportunity to work with other people. And Thank you so much. That's perfect. So may it take me just a little bit more time. That's fine. All right. I'm just I'm just curious because I've I've what I have thought about is that this is from what I'm understanding like adaptive accessories, right? Made for it's like adaptive accessories. It's made so people that have hard time using controllers can use controllers. Correct. So tell me. Right. Right. So tell me what made you want to do this as a project for STOP. So we had. Um, an original friend, um, all the way back in freshman year high school. Right. Uh, so we had a friend who was the original one who started this project and came up with the idea. And he had a friend who, for lack of better words, had deformed hands. Right. Right. And but he loved playing video games and stuff. Video games. But he couldn't. He loved doing that. And he, but he was struggling, right? He was having a hard time. Right, uh, makes sense. The traditional controller. So we were like, okay, well, he still has feet. So what if? Right. So what if we base the controller off of a off of a template right. that allow us to use our feet? And so well, yeah, that's the main idea. That's awesome. So are you using how is it? How does it interface in the computer? Are you using a microcontroller or something? Yeah. So we're using a micro a controllers called Makey Makers. Okay. Yeah, I've heard they of them. Have been used in several things. Yeah. Several various technological. So is it? Is it just a micro switch into an input, and the the, the Makey Makey translates that into so over USB? I would assume. Yes. That's awesome. So it's over two USBs. That's right. What we have set up right here, and now, um, each of these, for lack of better words, plates has four inputs. Okay. So for example, up, down, left, right. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought they were a fixed input. Yeah. So that makes they, sense. Um, okay, no. So like that function in and of itself is fixed, but it, these buttons and these inputs can be mapped for other. Right. Things. That makes sense. Yeah, because I've come in with problems with using like a, an off-brand keyboard or like my steering wheel, for example. The game's like that doesn't exist as a button, and you have to go remap it because it, it's not a thing. That
that is amazing. I'm, I like what you guys are doing in the accessibility world because I know some friends personally that um, either don't have hands or like you said, they have a deformality and they can't hold a controller or they can't press buttons because they have weak hands, etc. So the fact that you guys are, even if you're not mass producing, you're showing people in almost a weekend, you can just do this. And I mean, this is awesome. I like what you guys have done. Good job. Now I'm recording. <laughs> All right, let's see if there's um, anything else interesting here. So, live broadcast. I'm trying to find people that would be that I think you guys would like to see, and um, that would be talking. Like they have a people there. Because a lot of these, what they end up doing is they set them up, and it's just a board, and they walk away. What is going on over there? Oh, it's a motion platform. I'm getting in that. I am getting in that. There's a line, but I have a GoPro. We're doing that, boys. That'd be awesome, I think. So here's photography. Clearly, wouldn't like doing that myself. So, problems. Many families. Yeah. Perfect points. Sorry, you said that as soon as I was walking off. Perfect points. Um, this is not my camera. I'm getting it rented from a friend. So, let's see. Is there anything else? What the f Um, okay. The turret is moving. Bro. <laughs> the turret is moving. Okay. Um, <laughs> dude, they got thermal imaging on it. Dude, this thing is huge. The headlight is as big as my hand. It's got the the drop points. Hi, you're on YouTube now. It's got the drop points so you can drop it in from a helicopter. That's what these are. That's freaking rad. The tire is almost as tall as me. I don't want to know how much that cost. Okay, that is absolutely rad. Oh, and they got those sick remote lights that turn, too. Those are awesome. There is a line, my friend. Hold. Okay, I've got to, though. Where does the line end, though? Okay, we're doing this. I will wait in line for this. This is this is cool. Okay. That's kind of scare me though. Uh, it's a motion plat. All right, all right. I'm gonna put this camera down. I'll be back. All right. So we are now. Hold on. Okay. So let's restart that. We are now on our way out. Got the group of kids who stayed, but we're now on our way out the doors. Until next time we're up, I guess. But too far in. But yeah, so you guys got a little bit of Content shown, I guess you could say. But we are leaving. I don't know, on these steps. This time I don't get to be on a bus, which is nice. We get to get in our. What car did we bring? Traverse. The Traverse, yeah. Okay. Um, so that's nice. Let's see how quick it takes us to get run over. But yeah, that's a little bit of previewing. Um, this is going to be one heck of an edit, but whatever. Maybe I'll get smart and put this in DaVinci Resolve and make a really good video, but maybe, maybe not. I don't know where you're parked. But yeah, OpenX Studio's out.